Okay, hello everyone. We're gonna be wrapping up the Chen Yu Vale adventure today. It's been really nice here. I really like, like aesthetically, I love this area so much. And we've been on a lot of cool journeys, but I have written down the last few things I don't think we've checked out yet. So hopefully we will be able to. Oh, hello. The chipmunks and the, these little owl friends definitely get along very well, as I've seen. Okay. We're gonna start off by, um, I think you can take a boat ride. And I've never actually tried taking a boat ride before. Um, but we're gonna try doing that. I mean, we went with Gaming during the uh, lantern ride, but yeah, you can go to Uncle Bosu. Greetings, dear visitor. Are you here to take the boat? Uh, ride the bamboo raft to Yilong Wharf. All set. We seek your seats and we'll be on our way. Wow. It's so peaceful. There's not a whole lot of, I think. Well, up the beast right. Hey, we got a new achievement. Yeah, you can hear, you can hear them singing. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, hello, there's the other one. This just seems so peaceful. <laughs> and just, and there's, there's not that many, I think, moving mechanisms like this where you can just take a boat all the way somewhere. And the only other one is in the Quarter Fontaine with the, the fairies. Oh, wow. <laughs> Like, it feels like we get to experience. <laughs> we really get to experience this. This is so soothing. <laughs> the sound of the water. Just a slow moving current. doing today <laughs> and the song of the boatman wonderful <laughs> oh, other boats too really like to sit on these boats. There was some at the docks back there too. We're almost here. <laughs> Hello. Look, 
they want fish. Oh, they're actually eating the fish. Do you see that? No way. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> and they animate the whole thing. All right, thank you so much, Uncle Bosu. All right, we're here. Have a safe journey. Thank you. Oh, right. <laughs> I know how boats work. Okay. Yeah, and while we're here, we're going to do the first world quest of today. Once the elevator gets down. <laughs> Yay! Here, I think. <laughs> yeah, up here. We're back in Elam Wharf. Oh, I'll take this. Thank you. <laughs> Are you here to take part in our in the Our Chen Yu Veil Trek Scenic Photography Contest? Scenic Photography Contest? What's that? It's exactly as the name it implies. It's a contest that's designed to promote the beautiful scenery of Chen Yu Veil. Vale. I love the beautiful scenery in Chen Yu Veil. Vale. This is one of the most like, photogenic locations in all of Tevat, and that's really saying something. It is just, it's just so nice to be in the area, and it's so colorful and vibrant, and yet just feels just, yeah, very lush green. That's the kind of the aesthetic they really went for, and just being in the mountains with the fog and the trees. Just such a peaceful vibe. I, I love it. <laughs> we previously surveyed the Vale's residents to con collect opinions regarding its most captivating scenic spots. Now, we're tasking contestants with going to and capturing images of said locations using their cameras. Lastly, we'll pick out a handful of exceptional ones to use as promotional examples, which will be exhibited on the street outside Hoze Host. Well, how about it, you two? Um, I'm a practical person. What prizes are it for grants? There's no one better at photography than I am. Uh, yeah, that one. Of course there is. If your works are chosen, there'll be a special surprise just for you. Wow, a surprise! We better give it a roll then! <laughs> we still prepared a little reward for your time and effort, even if your work isn't selected. We hope that it'll be to your satisfaction. Alright, where do I start? Have a look at this guide. These are the residents... Uh, recommended scenic spots of Chen Yu Vale. Okay. What would you say the best scenic attraction in Chen Yu Vale is? It's gotta be my hometown, Chaoying Village. Not only are there, the sites amazing, but the animals there are super cute. I recommend going in the afternoon. Uh, location has been crossed out. The Jade Mouth, a life lived without visiting it, is surely one with regrets, especially that gemstone orb. When you look at it in the morning, it's like a moon that has yet to set. Location has been crossed out. The lotus pond next to the ancient tea tree king may not be that famous, but I find it to have the serene beauty at night. You'll just have to be careful of the monsters nearby. Uh, locations have been crossed out. And the bottom one, locations have been crossed out too. If you ask me, it's gotta be Mount Shenlian, right? You rarely see such strange mountains anywhere else, and the sunset is there is truly moving. I agree with that one. Huh? Why are some of the locations have crossed out? <laughs> That's because those locations have been fully signed up for. Really? Well, then you left the best ones. You left the best ones for us. We're hoping to provide a more comprehensive display of Chen Yu Vale's beauty. These four remaining locations are still available for registration. You can select one or more of them. Paimon gets it now. How about we sign up for all the remaining locations? If our chance of winning the prize is one in four, then we'll be guaranteed to win if we take four photos. This way, the surprise will be ours for sure. That's not how probability works. I mean, you don't know winning the prize is one in four. So. <laughs> and it's um, not how it works because it's four plus whatever the other photos are. So one in whatever the other photos are. But we don't care about 
nerd emoji here. That's not how probability works. I guess Ether does care, but <laughs> Paimon is Paimon. Paimon does their best. Really? When is it one quarter multiplied by four equal to one? I mean, yes, but. Eh. <laughs> what are we waiting for then? Let's get going. That surprise is I for the taking. Let's do it. Okay. So first. Let's do it in order. Telling village. We have Farina. Let me switch to this so she doesn't kill all the ducks. Look at all those ducks! That's a really weird bird. If we could take a photo of both it and Chalian Village. Okay. Look at all the ducks! Is this pelican here yours, kid? Could we photograph it alongside Chalian Village? Which means great, great. Oh, you speak Pelican? Only a little. Because I noticed when they eat, they don't got stuff going. Hey, 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 hey. I'm sure they're happily saying that it's great, great. So I learned to call them in that manner too. They come over as soon as they hear, probably because they think there's food. If you want to photograph one, then maybe you could try calling out to one yourself. It's too bad I gotta go home now. Otherwise, I could teach you some more. No worries, kiddo. We'll try it ourselves. Thanks, and get home safely. Let's give it a go over there. If we can attract a pelican, it'll increase our work's chances of success. Okay. They want to go on that boat, and if I recall, we also want to take it in the afternoon, right? What is this? Pelicans perched beside the pier, contemplating the anglers of Chaoying. Okay. Afternoon. Just in case that helps. <laughs> Just in case that helps. Okay. Uh. Hey, hey. <laughs> quack, quack, Paimon, quack, quack. No, we're gonna do it correctly. Oh, this is pelican. Uh, let's see. Oh, between a... Why is the yellow bar in the way? That's so silly. Or maybe it won't be in the way afterwards. Okay, well, it's almost... I, I spun the clock, so it's almost there. Just a few seconds, right? Just a few seconds. I do remember, see? See? That's totally not the picture I took, but I will take that. <laughs> Whoa, I remembered though, right? Uh, guess the challenging. Okay, let's double check. So that was afternoon, morning, uh, the monsters, and the sunset. Okay, yeah, we got this. Uh, Jade Mouth, if you haven't seen Jade Mouth, then you haven't lived, is what the other guy said. Yeah. I mean, these are like, these were created by Fujin, right? Because she could make things way bigger. Now, these are like the rings that are in her abode, but they are way, 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 way bigger. <laughs> oh, see that? That thing's shape is here. He has a huge circle with a big mouth. This is a good spot for our photo. It is. I almost died. Okay, morning. Morning time. How much morning though? You know, it probably want. It probably wants eight o'clock. If it wanted three o'clock for the other one, it's gonna want eight o'clock for this. Let's just give them what they want. <laughs> Once again, that's not the photo I took, but I will happily take that. Um, what else? Tea tree slope. Oh my gosh, I love this area. 
This is like a hidden gem for sure. Look at this beautiful tree. And then... Cat! Hello there, cat! Oh my gosh, what is this? I think I've seen one of these before. But no? Yes? Oh! Okay. There's gotta be more nearby. <laughs> maybe I did, maybe I did see those before. And then I left and like, I'm gonna do that in stream and then I totally forgot. Except I did remember, I did wanna go to Tree, tea tree Slope for some reason. But I just thought it's because this, it's such a beautiful, serene little spot. Maybe there's more to it as well. Where are these little butterflies? I insist, I must find them. All I see are goats and a cat. But I'm sure they're out here somewhere. Down there is where we want to go. Um. Hmm. That's kind of odd. I would have thought it'd be easier to see them in the area. There's a time trial over there. But, I mean, maybe... Nope, those are regular crystal flies. I mean, maybe the regular crystal flies. Do you guys know where the other orange crystal fly went? No? Okay. Well, let's just head down there here first. Pond by the ancient tree, tea tree king. What are you? Yeah, there are monsters here, just like it said. <sighs> That's not really gonna help with that combination. Is. <laughs> now you shall perish. Now you shall perish. <laughs> Monsters are no match for you. Ah. And a good angle. Okay. Um. Okay. I guess we go for a time like this. I don't remember it saying that, but that's okay because it tells me. Just in case I wasn't paying attention. Lotus pond. The lotus pond? This is a lotus pond, right? What? Oh, like this? Okay. Sure, whatever works. <laughs> I was trying to take a picture of the lotuses in the lotus pond. But they kind of wanted me to take a picture of more pond than lotus. Okay, I kind of want to see if I can find... Oh, I see a green one! Okay, so they're not all orange. It must be Fujin and... and her friends. <laughs> yeah. Fujin is the orange one. And then, um... Um, the, the Swanee, I, f I forgot their name, I'm sorry, is the blue one. And then Herb Gatherer is the green one. See, I can pass the test. I remember all of our friends here. It's only Tanger Bay! Oh, then I don't really want to pick that up yet. Was there another friend? I see it. I see something sparkling up the tree. Okay. Yeah. I guess that nighttime helps with seeing things you can't, that are bright, that you can't really see very well in the daytime. Pink. Huh. 
or a tea? Let's have some tea. Tea with friends who are no longer here and the cat. Yeah? Once this tree gets a little bit larger, I'll cut its leaves down and make some tea for all of you. When that time comes, we'll get Cloud Retainer and Mountain Shaper to come over. Seriously, you plant trees any way you like on my turf and you have the nerve to spout such things. The day when the promises of yesteryear could be fulfilled arrived not, but the silent old tree that still remembered the sound of that vow. Today, the aroma of tea has long since permeated Chen Yu Vale, and been carried to distant lands far beyond. I see. Hey, we're sitting in a different chair than last time. <laughs> well, thank you for that wonderful story. The tea, the berry, the cat. The cat is still waiting. It seems to be a theme. Take it. Go on. <laughs> you have my approval. When people have long since passed and their vows go unfulfilled. The cats seem to be the ones to remember. This, this actually happens a lot in this game, doesn't it? You know, Kazuha's friend has a cat, uh, Nico the cat on Seirai Island. Yeah, the cat, the cats just keep on waiting. Hey, what's the best way to get over there? Probably more this way than anything. I've been listening to the soundtrack from this area just to you know, study and chill. It is just great vibes, <laughs> amazing vibes. There's hilly trails and a, a guy here. Someone help me! Yeah. Are you sure you need help? You, you look like you're doing just fine. You know, it looks like they're just kind of standing there. I think I'll get these. Sorry, stealing all the food from the hilly trails. That's what I do. <laughs> How can I help you? Hang on, don't come any closer. Are, are you are you good people? Um, well, you can assess that for yourself. Hey, we're the ones who saved you just now. Did you hit your head on something or...? Ah, you're right. I'm really sorry about that. My Chun Yu Vale track has been nothing but dizzyingly t bad luck. Thank you. So you're participating in the photography contest too? You are as well? What a coincidence. I'm just an ordinary tourist though, so I couldn't do anything about those hilly trails. I came across those louts on the road, and they captured and brought me back here without letting me get a word in, in lengthwise. Hilly trails also don't collect tolls, too, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> Preposterous. Luckily, I ran into you guys. Ah, today was a tough day for you, indeed. Not just today. Yesterday was terrible as well. I bought a rather expensive camera from a Fontaine merchant, but it broke after only a few uses. When I went back to find him, he was gone. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What a shady guy. Be sure to keep an eye out on your wallet while you're out and about. Oh, sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. Since you're also taking part in the competition, you must be here to f photograph Mount Shranlian, right? What I say I share the... What, what I... Would say I share the best photography spot that I found around here with you is thanks. Here, I'll mark it on your map for you. You can see it from here. In fact, it's right over there. Huh? What about you then? Aren't you part of everything in the contest as well? This area is rather dangerous, so it'd be best for me to switch things up. I remember the guide spoke of other locations. I think I should check out the tea tasting adeptus. Yeah, that sounds good. Goodbye, you two. Hopefully, things start turning around oh, well for me now. Uh, speaking of which, you know, I was thinking about how we reactivated everything at Carp's Rest and Chiwong Terrace. Like, that landscape has drastically changed. I wonder, do the resident have the residents noticed this? And wow, this. This is an amazing spot. Oh my gosh. I've been trying to get a good, I've been trying to get a good photo of this area for so long. And I've just been really trying to. Like, 
like for the thumbnail, I want to do it for one of the thumbnails of the Chen Yu Veil uh, playthrough, but just, you know, wanting a nice picture and I just could never find the perfect, perfect angle. I got pretty close in my opinion, but like, oh my gosh. I just want this picture for myself. Wow, that's so lovely. Save that, save that before before they do the version where I can't save it. <laughs> where this is in the way. <laughs> wow. Well, I want to take a look at the photos you got. Uh, they won't be any participants as hardworking as us, will they? <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. Speaking of... I don't know, speaking of hardworking. So last time, last time we were trying to um, talk to this guy, right? And um, I could not figure out what he meant. And now I kind of feel like I figured out what he meant. First of all, there's these boars there that just hide by that hole. So I assumed it had something to do with that hole, right? And then he's just like, I can't believe you haven't left yet. I literally left and came back days later. Still can't take your minds off of the hole, or the fire explosive sweet nectar tea. Uh, such things are far too dangerous. And then only now do I realize. I mean, maybe it has something to do with, whoops, yeah, the iPad. And I don't have it to like render things in very far. Or maybe I'm just completely unobservant because I seem to be able to have no issue finding the sweet flowers this time. Stop and fighting. what does this have to do with the I hole? Like I don't know. <laughs> so many with but we should even get that treasure chest open now. And with ease. Guess there really were a bunch of pyro whopper flowers here. Yeah, no kidding. Now can I do something with this hole? No? The hole is just a hole. Too then. slow. The likes of which we will never understand. You, my dear customers, you. Uh, here are the ingredients. Tea, please. What? Did you guys really deal with the pyro whopper flowers? Sure, there are quite a few, but for pros like us, it was just a bunch of weed whacking. Quite a few? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yours truly knows just how many there are. The two of you are truly both skilled and courageous. Please, allow me to express my admiration and undying respect. Good thing these two are okay. I lose my job otherwise. Let's go need to try a different excuse next time. Yeah, they're trying to say, like, we need to find better adventurers. And I'm like, better adventurers than us? What do you mean? Hmm. Well, so you had no reason to, not to make us the special fiery explosive sweet tea nectar. Sweet nectar tea now, right? Because we like to drink some pronto. <clears throat> yes, your humble servant will prepare some post haste. Blasted. How do I even? I can't be that hard, right? It'll be fine if I just dump the sweet flowers and whopper flower nectar in together, right? Sure. You realize something isn't quite right, but Paimon picks it up and drains her cup in a single primonial gulp. Yeah. What the heck is that stuff? Paimon's never drunk anything that terrible before. Just how is your tea stall managed to stay open? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I apologize for the torment inflicted upon your tongue, dear customer. Please take this as a token of my sincerity. Consider it reparations for the crimes committed against your taste buds and a reward for bringing me the materials. Hmm. Fine, guess you're still an alright person, although your tea brewing skills are pretty bad. <laughs> Don't say that. Anyway, thanks to you two, your humble servant finally has all the necessary ingredients. Now, if you two don't have any other passing, uh, pressing matters about these parts, you should head back as soon as possible. After all, who knows what kind of dangers might be lurking on the wild. Sure. I definitely feel like he's not making tea with those ingredients. I definitely feel like that's not the purpose of what he's doing. Um, what did he do here? Strange request. This is towards a tea place, not selling tea. You're definitely not a tea maker or a tea seller. <laughs> but we will leave you be. To do as you do. Who am I to argue with that? <laughs> All right, let's see. How do our photos go? Seeing how relaxed you look, I suppose you must be here to submit your photos. Just leave them with me. Hmm, not bad at all. You must have put in a lot of work to capture such beautiful scenes. Well done. Yay, I'm super proud of all of these. Please take them. 
Hmm, these photos. What's wrong? Are ours not good enough? It's quite the opposite. I've seen some excellent submissions these past few days, but your works are refreshing all the same. Let's take this shot of Chaoyang Village. The pelican adds a touch of liveliness to the tranquil village. Contrasting stillness and movement, a one-of-a-kind approach, indeed. If it were just up to me, your works would be certainly be selected for use. Wow, what a compliment! You make you high my blush a little. Um, oh, I'm starting to feel a little embarrassed too. Well, in any case, our selection process will be completed before tomorrow morning. From 8 in the morning until 6 at night, we will exhibit all the selected works on the street outside Ho's post. Thank you for participating in the Our Genu Veil Track Scenic Photography Contest. Don't forget to come back around tomorrow. You bet. We're not going to miss out on this final surprise. Is that tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow in game. Good. <laughs> and we get this beautiful view of Fontaine and Genu Veil as the sun rises. Okay. See where we are off to. <laughs> Too slow. Quit following me. That's oh, quite a ways away. Hello, everyone in Yilong Wharf. This is a beautiful port city you have here. Ah, oh, you've made it. Have you seen the exhibited works? A total of eight works have been selected for this iteration of our uh, of the our of our Chanyu Vale Trek, and half of those are yours. Congratulations! Wow, that's awesome. See, Eddie, Paimon was right about getting four out of four. Paimon's math skills really are something. Wow, quite the mathematician, aren't we? <laughs> the judges also showed great appreciation for your other works, two works, much like I said yesterday. And so please take this limited edition Our Chenyu Veil Trek commemorated photo album. It features all of the contest selected works. You have earned it. This is a surprise? Oh, it looks amazing! Wow, oh my gosh, that one. This one with the clouds and the mist. I love that so much. Uh, tea tasting adeptus. Wow, ours is gorgeous. Anonymous. Wow. If it's alright with you, I also have some more for you. Please take it. I'd like to thank you again for participating, this time on a personal level. This is my hometown, and you have forever captured the beauty of this place. These works will surely cause more people to fall in love with it. Yes, I've definitely fallen in love with this place because of how beautiful the scenery is. Thank you. Thank you. I will treasure these beautiful photographs. Check. I see. You can see them up close. How's it going, dude? That shady Fontaine merchant has my luck really begin to turn around. I should just rush over and grab a hold of him right now, but then I won't be able to appreciate the charming photos. You can come back and appreciate the photos. I just suffer further loss that way. I'd be better after doing so after viewing them, especially my selected work. <laughs> It's a shame that the atmosphere around me seems really off. <laughs> ne negative vibes? You must be that dude from Inazuma's here. What too? I better pretend I didn't notice him. Luckily, there's someone in between us. They probably didn't see me. Darn it, why are these senior photos so captivating? I don't want to leave this place yet. <laughs> you guys are so funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Well, I came here to visit I mean, look at look at all the colors here. That was a nice visit to Yulong Wharf. Where am I? Not where I'm trying to go. I want to take the elevator back down. Actually, we don't need to take the elevator back down. We can just like jump off and jump, do a high dive. Huh. Too slow. Because we know how to do that safely. Wee! Okay, that, that was not safe. I don't want to do it. So close to all the solid things we can hit and become severely injured on. But we are going to take a boat ride back now. Sunrow. 
Or is made from bamboo feel better? Would you like to go to Chaoyang Village by raft? Yes, please. Please take your seat and we'll set out. Here we go. Bye bye, Yilong Wharf. That was a very fun contest that we did there. Beautiful music. You can see Chi Wong Terrace up there. Oops, no. We will remain seated during at all times with our arms and legs within the vehicle. Oh, so soothing. So relaxing. <laughs> Through the jade mouth we go. I mean, I imagine it'd be such a cool job to be able to you know, travel through the scenery all the time. You have to pass under these marvels of the world. Turtles! Look at them. I guess they're tortoises. Hello, tortoises! They are just chilling. They are very relaxed. This is like a, such a cool Easter egg kind of thing, right? Because <laughs> just getting to have this kind of immersive experience. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've arrived at Chaoying Village. May we meet again if fate wills it so. We will. Thank you so much. Oh, I didn't fall off the dock this time. <laughs> Great. Um, well, since we have, uh, we already went to Tea Tree Soap, there's a quest that was done here. I believe it only shows up at nighttime. So we will have to make it nighttime. And now when I go near, World quest marker? No? Hmm. Hmm. I, I swear there was a quest here, right? Extra nighttime. <laughs> there we 
we go. Oh, hello. What are you doing all alone on a boat? And why can I not get on the boat? Questions that we certainly, almost certainly will need answers to. How would I get on this boat if I didn't have Wander oh, or Farina and could do stuff like this? Grandpa? Huh? Hey there, kiddo. What are you doing out here at night? What's your name? I'm Xiangjun. I'm looking for my grandpa. He was kidnapped by demons. Uh, demons? Here? What sort? Uh, I don't know either. Grandpa said that they're in the mountains, so I shouldn't run around by myself. But it's been three days now, and he still isn't back from the mountains. Um, well, maybe he's just trying to scare you, right? I would think so, too. Did he say what he was doing in those mountains? Grandpa's the village his herb gather. He found a divine plant recently, one that's said to only grow when the water... When watered with the blessed waters near Mount Xuanlian. So, might he have bumped into some kind of demon guarding the water? Don't worry too much, Xiangzhong. Uh, your grandpa might have just encountered some minor trouble. But it's also getting really late. Mind if we send you home first? But, but I want to rescue him. Uh, we can go check on your grandpa for you. We can help you. Really? That's right. But if you don't go home, you might cause your grandpa even more trouble. Huh? I, I don't want to do that. Then let us look for him while you stay home, alright? Let's get you back to your home first. It, it's fine. I live in Chaoying Village. I can head back myself. But could you look for grandpa immediately? I'm worried about him. Oh, we'll be fine. That said, do you know where he exactly he went? I only know that he went that way. In that case, that's a we'll start. Thanks so much. I'll head back now. I won't cause you all any trouble, so I'll wait for you there. Thank you. We will definitely, we, we will definitely look for your grandpa. We are good at reuniting, reuniting kids with their grandparents. <laughs> the roaming boat. Okay. I guess that way is following the water, and that is what we shall do. Look for clues in the direction indicated by Xiangzhen. Time trial. Oh, there's a capsule here. Could this have been where Xiangzhen's grandfather was staying? Let's see if we find any clues. I overslept. I have to get back tomorrow, or no one's going to watch Xianzhen. I'm a fool. If I remember right, there's a shortcut. A small road leading from Miaodie Valley to Mount Xuanlian. Just need to get through that plus one mountain cave, and I should be golden. I've heard that there are monsters nearby, but I have to give this a shot. This is something that her grandpa might have left behind. Seems like he took a small trail. Let's go look for it as well. Search for a path. On the gale. Yaldi of Valley. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Ah, let me grab it. Let me grab the thing to so, like let me launch into the air. No. Okay. The audacity to even make I definitely see monsters in the area. I'll have you know. Just saying. Tons of monsters. We should be close. According to the notes, we should find a cave here. Cave we have found. Cave have been in here before, apparently. Maybe I've read these notes even. I, I might have actually read these notes before, and I just... If they really do appear... Do they, do they only appear after this quest has been started here before? I swear I've come down here, the one with the geo totems, and then... And then I've read these. Okay. Deeper into the cave, we shall go. Thank you. It's a glaze lily down here. What's a glaze lily doing all the way down here? I was worried about monsters from the start, but so much. My thigh can't stop it. So sleepy. But Mount Xianlian is just up ahead. Xiangzhen, I'll definitely get those blessed waters. Xiangzhen, I'll surely get those blessed waters. Oh no, he has attacked my monsters and badly wounded in the process. Wait, and he still wants to get water from Mount Xuanlian, even so? Let's hurry! Paimon hopes I can find him! 
We go all the way under. Yeah, we go all the way underneath the big lake on the other side. Oh, that's not where, that's not where, right? <laughs> so this tunnel takes us there. What? I don't remember this tunnel going that far. This, this tunnel just ends here, right? Oh, that's why we have teleport waypoints. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't see how that tunnel connects. I think he just got trapped in there and had to climb out, and then, and then walked all the way over here, which is a very far way to go. Lower. Oh no. Oh no, there really is a cave somewhere. You might have even been in there. <laughs> Let's just briefly look again. It was this cave, right? I don't think it was this cave. Too slow. This is a different cave. It's absolutely a different cave. Oh, Adeptus Repulse. Okay, we've been here. Not the right cave, though. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sealy friend! The only friend, we are so lost. You want to Please guide us. An umbrella. Huh. The audacity to even make that request. Okay, we might be heading toward a different quest, but, but that's okay. <laughs> Hit. Butterfly wings. Okay, Lingshu Courtyard. Okay, I've never been in here before. I realize there's a new area in here, and I kind of want to save it for stream, so I've never been in here before. Apparently, though, this is exactly where our Sealy friend wants to go. Fish! So our Sealy friend has made it safely down. Whoa, these little fireflies, like in the chasm. Take it and have fun. Wow! Uh, huh? Who art thou who disturbs my beauty sleep? Huh? Uh, who's that? Uh, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. To fear... Oh, I'm sorry. To fear me is only natural. Were I unconfined to the stone, you would already be in my belly. Uh, what? Uh, so you're just a talking stone statue. I would thought you were a monster of some sort. Hmm. What dost thou mean, just a talking stone statue? Would one, not one, be such frightening in itself? Uh, we've come across many statues like here before, is the thing. W what Ah, <sighs> fine. Seems like there's no scaring you guys. Why must you do that anyway? Sheesh, you're just a stone statue. Hmm, even if I was just a stone statue, this place is still the Herb Lord's abode. Yeah, this is Herb Lord's abode, I see. When she was yet with us, she did not appreciate others disturbing her peace at their liberty. And that's why I scare all the pesky ones away. I shall continue to do so even if she isn't around anymore. Nevertheless, your presence does feel somewhat different from that of those ordinary mortals. And considering that I couldn't scare you either, may I please ask you for a favor? Huh? Well, what can we help you with? Ahem. <clears throat> Take a look at these colorful butterflies. Ever since the abode's lord departed, these little things are scattered all over the place, flying about as they please. Shh, hang on, there's one over your head. Just a moment, we'll help you get it. <laughs> so 
sorry? What were you saying just now? <laughs> These are just like the butterflies we saw at the tea tree slope just now. And... Ah, uh, okay. It likes that. It likes it up there. Yeah. Yes, just like that. The adult herb lord previously used these colorful butterflies to adorn its door, but that mechanism was later destroyed. These colorful butterflies and the medicine jar were originally meant to nourish the adaptal tree. Adaptal tree? <laughs> That's right. Back then, the herb lord planted this adaptal tree herself. It may be withered now, but the herb lord said that so long as the colorful butterflies haven't all dispersed, the tree can be revived. <sighs> she departed as soon as she lost the power to maintain her human form. I wonder how she's doing that those these days. I think um the herb lord is uh Chang Sheng, right? Baiju's snake friend. <laughs> um I remember something earlier that Fujin said is like that kinda clicked for me. It's like something of yeah, because Chang Sheng uses can heal anybody's illness but has to drain the power from another life form to do so and that's what that's why baiju wants to become immortal so he can have an endless amount of life to supply for her to use that power i guess but yeah i also noticed um the the theme for like this area kind of has it's like the same as like baiju's theme so i guess like put a whole bunch of stuff oh and yeah and also i think they said the herb lord was a white snake and like okay that makes sense. Changsheng is a white snake, so Changsheng must be the herb lord, in which case we know Changsheng, so we would be gladly glad to help out with tidying up her house. <laughs> As the vivid butterflies converge in the jar, new life shall be restored to the withered tree. Yep, that's right. As long as... Wait, how did you know? Never mind. Anyway, that's about it. As long as those colorful butterflies get put back into the jar, we can then nourish that withered tree. I'm counting on you, kind humans. All right. Well, take it. This first, and then you know, I I really I really like this scenery. I want a picture of this. We can just <laughs> there. We go. Perfect. Okay. Very big area. Lizard tails. I see. So if this is a place with a lot of medicinal ingredients, we're gonna see some strange things around here. Now, how on earth am I going to find all these butterflies? These are like a needle in a haystack kind of things, right? Swarm fury. Oh no. Uh-oh. I don't know what I'm gonna do Too about slow. this. But I love chasing butterflies. Not in real life, but in these games, I love chasing butterflies. Okay, well, I see a spirit carp. I see spiders. <laughs> we never see spiders. Strike a pose. <laughs> I'm, glad they, I'm glad they blew it up without fail. <laughs> Like, will they do it? And they, they absolutely did. Okay. Jay and Chili. What would it do with that wanderer? <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do stuff like that. Oh dear. So I suppose it's a little bit of a problem then. Oh. Maybe paying attention might have been a nice thing to do in this area. I just want to see if I, if I activate all of these. What, does that help? Shower me with oh, I found it! See? Dangerous exploration sometimes helps. Okay, there's gotta be something that happens if you finish defeating all the hilly trolls. So will you just stop it with your big shield? Okay. Well, we freed the butterfly, so that was probably it. Uh, anything else we can just smack? And get stuff. Silk flower. Okay, that's useful. Huh. 
There's money in there. I want the money. I don't know if that's worth it. I don't know how, how, how am I gonna get out now. <laughs> oh, like this, okay. That's why there's a crack in the jar. Okay, a lot of my team just died there, so maybe we ought to be a little more careful of that. Oh, and the last, the, the last uh, Take the spirit carp is in there, too. Ah, the okay, that should be, okay, that's, Oh, I see it. Is that right? No, those are just, those are just... Okay. Okay. Where did they go? More importantly, why did they go over there? What is over there? That's definitely a clue for something. The wind rises. Of what? I do not know. Okay, actually, where did they go? Where did you go? Oh, I found one! Okay. It's okay. How would I get up here without Wander? And how do I get up here with Wander? Oh, it's with this. <laughs> now I can get this too. This, by the way, should be all of the. That should be all of the spirit carp in the entire in the entire map. That should be done now. That's exciting. Okay, how do I how do I get in here? Oh, I see how to get in here. Um, I'm not sure that was the right. I don't know how you just did that, but I will not question. The climbing methods that are used in this game. There we go. Two out of five. Okay, where did the fireflies go? And did that actually mean anything or not? I am not sure. on a stone legomite. As long as I'm a butterfly perch and tell you, let you in on a secret, as long as I'm perched. As long as I'm like a butterfly perch and a stone legomite. So like, that's one of these things, right? These, these things here? Oh, hey, that worked. I was, I was just demonstrating it. I'm, I'm glad that if I hadn't done that, I would never have figured it out. <laughs> I would just be circling the, the base of that rock for 20 minutes. I wonder who this Here we go. Okay, anybody see any butterflies while we're at this? Okay, I see a thing there. And we might want to take a look at, a closer look at. Well, I guess this would have helped us get into the one with the other butterfly in it. It was a momentary distraction. had done that first. <laughs> okay, where was that? We saw a pile of rocks, pile of rocks here. Uh-oh. Well, good no thing way. I healed up the team. May I present? Squad Fury. Go, 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 go. <laughs> butterfly? Unnecessary. No butterfly? Oh, okay. I mean, the thing is... They're gonna hide them, but they're not gonna hide them like super 
super badly. It's going to be not a place that's obvious, but a place that makes sense once you've found it. Such as here? There's a butterfly in there. I see it. Did I do that correct? I don't think I did that correctly. Okay, what's blocking it? How can I help That's with far this? Enough. I see everything! Here we go. Um, oh, I gotta place it back on a on a pedestal, right? Well, there's one over on that side. So do we put this here? No? Oh, that didn't seem to work. Okay, what if I try um, whipping up from here? Any obvious place that tea thing needs to go. Nope. Okay. It moves into place there. Oh, I see what needs to happen. There's only one thing here, so the first thing we do is this. Now that gets cleared away. We can move this to here, and now we can move this here, and the butterfly is free! What this also means though is that probably the next butterfly, which will be the last, is going to be pretty hard to find. So those are different, those are different fungi that are out here now. Um, okay. Oh, I see it! I see a bunch of butterflies, and that definitely is a sign that there's something of interest over here. Catch butterfly. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you guys... <laughs> Should be good. Nice and simple. Catch butterflies. Uh oh. Okay. There's no timer, right? Okay. One. At least it kind of stay put after a while. Oh, sorry. The slime there. I did not mean to disturb your sleep, and I apologize for doing so. <laughs> Frogs. A whole bunch of frogs. Very nice. Okay, they could have gone far, right? Oh, I see one inside. Oh no, they're hiding. It's in here. So I expect the other one is hiding too, then. Not hiding this far though. What? What? No! Did I leave the area? Okay, one, two, or did I run out of time and it's just not showing a time limit? Three. Behold! I don't know. Where, where else could it be? Oh, I see it. You're hiding all the way up here. How might one find such a majestic butterfly? I like that one though. Purple. Nice color. Wait, didn't you get all the butterflies to return? The adaptal tree still looks the same though. Ah, oh, that's talking statue lied to us, didn't it? Well, probably didn't. Hang on, Paimon. 
you're, I think you're being too quick to assume. They probably didn't lie. They probably just either didn't know or didn't tell the full truth, which is not exactly a lie. Uh, but anyway, let's get the deeds. We can't even turn on the colorful butterflies in the jar, but the adaptal tree still looks the same to Pylon. Hmm? Who art thou to disturb mine? Ah, it's you, kind humans. Ooh, I never thought you'd actually be able to find all the colorful butterflies. I just said that on a whim. No, I meant I felt the adeptal energies too. We just need to recite the formula that Herb Lord left us and we can re revive the adeptal tree. Hold on, how did that formula go again? Born in winter, thriving and withering through time. But I yearn for spring when beauty is regained. Butterflies flutter, flutter. Uh, I don't remember what comes next, but it all ends with all being revived. Oh, it worked! Great job! <laughs> it did something. Butterflies! <gasps> oh my gosh, I did. let's just take a screenshot of that. <laughs> Thanks for humoring me. <laughs> the tree! Wow, it's changed completely! Since the herb lord entrusted the tree to me, I couldn't stand to see it continue to wither. Thank you, kind humans. You couldn't remember the formula at all. Ugh, don't sweat the small stuff. Oh, if you're interested, I can give you a secret tip. Break off a branch and put it in the broken jar outside the abode, and the stone gate will open. Investigate the ancient tree. Wow! Oh, we just went right through it. <laughs> the branch. Oh, butterflies! Thank you, butterflies. Oh, they're everywhere. I see. Oh, I was gonna get the I was gonna get the purple thing outside, but th th thank you so much, butterflies. <laughs> Look at the jar mentioned by the sacred simulacrum. Is it this it? Or is this it? <gasps> this jar is all broken though. Oh, you guys see? Medicine jar. Butterflies! Oh, we've, we've got another tree now. That's so cool. Complete sentences written in elegant handwriting and legible. As the vivid butterflies converge in the char, the adeptal energy surges anew, akin to a new life restored to a withered tree. Go west and behold Ling Shu Courtyard and. I see. Well, we just done that, so I think we just finished that quest. <laughs> Splendid! More interesting trinkets for you. They say fish have a bad memory, and I'm starting to wonder if she is one. She won't stop telling me about that motive range aid business. <laughs> I see. Even though it always fills me with the urge to interrupt her, seeing that look of joy in her face makes me decide against it. If anything, efficiency takes a hit when she isn't here to gnat her away. I must keep this locked up. I can never let any person of fish see this. She might start jumping for joy otherwise. <laughs> Why come crying to me? Please make me some slimming tea. Hmm. Wild beasts never change, I see. Don't you know that a human form created by adeptal energy can never gain weight? And that fish going along with the whole affair and begging me with a smile despite knowing the truth full well. I agreed. I'll just make it. Who knows? One day it may be useful for mortals. I spoke to the master about certain matters. I have a bad feeling. Although they are usually wrong, this kind of thing should be Fujin's specialty. Still, I should take some precautions. I'll split some adaptal energy off and inject it into the butterflies. Their lifespan will extend greatly. Then, even if something were to happen, the mortals of Chenyu Vale may be able to follow their guidance and find the formula I left behind. I see. Oh, treasure! 
I found treasure. I know I found the luxurious chest. Truly an extra slice of joy. <laughs> but I've also found other treasure. Star punch. Okay. Well, we are far away from where we were just now. We still have to look for um, the, the grandpa as well. <laughs> okay, do you have a wit? Oh, I thought, oh, no, 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 that's just a piece that was here. I thought, like, is there a dead fish? No, it's just a, that's just a thingy. That's just a thingy that's there. It's, well, it's part of the mural that was cut out, but we, we know what it is, is what I'm getting at. Um, do we want to go back in there? Let's, let's go back in there. Let's go say hi to the simulacrum. And then, and then, we gotta, you know, we gotta save the grandpa. <laughs> Oops. Herb housing hall. There we go. Oh, you have nothing else to say to us. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, we still need to go and find. I still need to go and find her grandpa. So. There might be a cave down there. I don't think that cave we were in just now <laughs> for this actually... Oh yeah, see? Okay, I knew it. There, there is a cave down there. The cave we were in doesn't connect to here, so it's a different cave. <laughs> anyway, that, that other quest with the butterflies was very nice. Alright, let's see. Hmm, this should be the place, right? Why isn't anyone here? No trail to follow either. Could he have gone back already? Paimon doesn't think that would happen. He's been injured. Could he have walked far? But he's not around here, either. Could someone have met him on the road and rescued him? Paimon thinks that might have happened. Shall we go back to Chaoying Village and ask around? Well, let's get a bit of this blessed water first. Huh? Oh, right. If Xiaojun's grandpa was rescued, he might still need this. In for Mora, in for it all, huh? You're so thoughtful, Teddy. <laughs> Blessed water. So that's what this is. I, uh, there was a chest, a treasure chest in here before. Blessed water is Paimon's foot. These waters don't look special at all. Oh, wait, we forgot to ask Xiang Jun where she lives in Chaoying Village. Okay. Well, Paimon, looks can deceive, as we know in this game, you know. You you never know. You, you never know. Just don't, like, judging a book by its cover uh, does not help us <laughs> in this game. Ah, oh, it's you, Traveler. You seem in a terrible hurry. Did something come up? We... Well, do you know where Xiang Jun and her grandfather live, Uncle Mo? We're looking for them. Xiang Jun? Never heard of her. Is she ever around here? I'm sure I know everyone in the village. Really? That can't be. We met a little... Oh my gosh. There seems to be a lot of kind of mysterious, kind of almost creepy stories. I, I hope this is not one of them. We met a little girl outside who calls herself Xiang Jin and said that she lives in Chaoying Village. She asked us to help her find her grandfather. She also has a big bamboo raft. Well, you can find those quite easily, but Xiang Jin, I'm fairly sure there's no one by that name in our village. What does her grandfather go by? She said he's an herb gatherer. An herb gatherer? Let me think. We did have one, so I recall. But it's been three years since he passed. Uh-oh. He passed away. Aye, he encountered some monsters in the wild, and... Huh. I still, I doubt that's who you're looking for. He was always a little off his rocker, and he never got married, never having descendants of any sort. Wait, what's going on here? So, that's Xiang Jin we met. Could she have been the real demon? Oh my gosh. 
Oh, scary. What sorts of herbs did your herb gather? Well, gather. Flowers and grasses, none of which we've ever seen. Fred, I only know this and that about tea, so I'd be little help here. But I do remember that we found him near Mount Xuanlian. He was still clutching a bottle of water. He said that he had a divine plant in his yard and needed that sort of blessed water to grow. A load of hogwash, if you ask me. I mean, it's all just river water, nothing special about it. Why do he have to give up his life on account of something like that? Ah, still, after we buried him, we poured the water he obtained out in that yard of his. I hope that brought him some solace. The blessed waters of Mount Shanlin? We went there and drew some water, too. So, this herb gatherer of yours... I think we are talking about the same person. Well, that's strange happenings, and no mistake. Why don't you come with me? I'll take you to that fellow's yard. If you did draw water, I suppose you can just pour it out on his yard. Oh, I don't, I don't like, since we're already talking about it, I very add that we never really knew the name of the herb gatherer. He was an outsider, and we discovered that he was a bit touched in the head the moment he arrived. He claimed he picked divine herbs, but the pharmacy couldn't recognize them, much less buy them from him. But he knew of the skills and couldn't make the more I needed to feed himself, so he had to knock on doors to ask for help. We took pity in him and decided to feed him. Um, later, some ignorant children would call him an adeptus on his account of mutterings about divine herbs. Not the capital A adeptus who dwells in the clouds. I mean, just an adeptus. Uh, no one expe uh, expected something terrible to happen to him afterwards, but once it did, uh, something. everyone thanked him, and thus the people have been reliably caring for his home. We're almost there, by the way. I read a lot just now. <laughs> Not a capital A adeptus. Just a adeptus. Could that child then be just one of the... He has a big house, I will say. For for people to not really know who he is in the community he lives in. I love it. It's dimming because we're at the border of the world. This is the place. See that spot? Just water and the plus water, would you? It's dimming because we are literally at the, at the border of the world, even though I can see. I can see uh, the mortar region over there. Is that correct? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. If there's nothing here, I'll leave you to look around as much as you like. So there really wasn't anyone named Xiang Jin? I'll ask around. Maybe it was just a bit of a mistake somewhere. You know, like someone forgetting where they live and such. I, I don't know. In any case, thanks for helping that Adeptus water the herbs. I'm sure he'll do what he can to defend you from harm as thanks. I mean, that's not necessarily what we need. I just need closure here. What? Oh my gosh. Do you remember the chasm? There was a story of this, there was like this little girl looking for, looking for her father, but her father had already died and she actually was a, a grown up, like an adult working. And it was like really creepy because there's like this, ch there's this child in the yep. chasm, but Something, something about the like the the dark goo and the miasma like brought her memories back to life or something. Well, I think she was still alive too. Uh, anyway, I don't know. Unsettling vibes. Un I sorry, I shouldn't stand in the tea. <laughs> unsettling vibes. Is is there anything else we need from this? After completing the quest, I'm just reading the whip and looked it up. After completing the quest and advancing the in-game time by one day, two optional interactions are unlocked. Flowers would bloom in the yard where the party poured the blessed waters. Interacting with the flowers would give you the four-star uh, soul set bloom artifact. Pharmacy's amelioration can be found by the stairs next to the yard. Well, I guess I'm going to do that tomorrow. After one day has passed. Pharmacy's amelioration. A few leagues to the... I'll just read it now because I'm not planning to stream again tomorrow. <laughs> a few leagues to the east of Mount Xuanlian is an earthen raft that can float even without water. On the raft is a strange grass which lar with large leaves and roots like young children. Its name is Xiangjin. Its sound is like that of an infant and it travels with the raft, smiling when it sees people and can ward off evil. Hmm. So maybe this is the power that um, wards off demons and it just took the form of a, of a young child. Great. 
<laughs> a must for the well-mannered. If you'd like to learn the proper etiquette, I'd be happy to teach you. I love how the people in Fontaine and Chenya Vale can get along with their love of tea. <laughs> I love tea so much. All right, daily's done. All right, that should actually be. Oh my gosh, we got 100% of this area. What? All right, that should be pretty much most of the things to do in Chenyu Vale. We've made it. We've done it. The only thing we have left to do is visit Fujin one more time. I mean, I'll check on it on her. I do actually try to go back to old locations we've been to and just check in on check in on the characters, even if nothing interesting has happened. I just want to say hello. I wish that should be the last time we need to give the spirit carp to Fujin. I hope that that means she can come back strong someday. Or even now. Is she gonna come back now? Well, what do you know? We've already collected so much adaptal energy already. Well done, me. No more than to be expected of one such as I, the young master. Hey, that fits long over. Quit talking like that. Paimon, you're, you're gonna break your neck looking up that high. According to what Fujin said before, all this adaptal energy should be used on the votive rain jade. That way, Chaoyang Village can read the results next year. When that happens, Paimon will have Uncle Mo prepare all kinds of amazing food for her. Let Paimon think. Mmm, tea cakes, squab, braised meatball, honey chasu, and, and... Ah, Fujin! Tea brew, perhaps. Oh, right. And Chenyu brew, of course. Paimon's gotta write this all down. Huh? Wait, who's there? Fujin? <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't scare you, did I? You could assume human form again. Yes. Did one not say that one was not seriously injured and needed merely the briefest of rest to return to my favorite form? Thank you both for gathering all that adeptal energy for the rain jade as I rested. Next year's bountiful harvest will in no small way be thanks to your efforts. I'm glad it could help. Though now that you're back to your human form and don't need to lock yourself in that super dark place anymore, what do you plan to do next? Yes, I haven't given much thought to that yet. Perhaps I should just walk around and have a look? Have a taste of today's teas, listen to today's operas, see the people of today's... <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep emphasizing today as though I'm some sort of horrid antique. Though I really do like that word. The things I couldn't do in the past, I can do today. The things that couldn't be achieved before, all those promises that couldn't be kept, they can all be made real today. And then I'd like to go to the Guayli Assembly and have a look. Um... Yeah, about the Guigli Assembly. And then go to Leila Harbor to see the people there. Meet all the lovely folks they described. And of course, I'd like to see Herb Lord again. Well, you can do all of those things. So, yes. Want me to bring you around? Yeah. Paimon remembers you said something about not leaving clear water for too long. And needing to use the adeptal realms and teapots to travel long distances. <laughs> Thank you for remembering that, and thank you for being willing to help me. However, I would still have to stay in Chanyu Vale a bit longer and enjoy the sights and sounds of my home. As for the long distance travel, hmm, let me think. Maybe I should wait until little Mal is all grown. Well, then you have a few years to just chill and do so. <laughs> That's way too long. I'm joking. Anyway, I do plan to stay here for a bit and see if I can convince Ling Yuan to go on the trip with me. Oh, right. One more thing before I go. You went through quite a lot on account of both myself as well as Ying, Ling Yuan. My adeptal energy is slowly recovering, so please allow me to give you a genuine blessing of protection for the road ahead. Thank you! Finally getting an actual blessing. <laughs> Pluck your teas and toast me as the dew hangs on the sedges, as smoke swirls amidst the leaves. The times wear on, yet the years go peaceful. Such thoughts I nurse in my heart and vow to never forget. On our times together I ponder in comfort and happiness, and on my zither I play till you shall return. <laughs> that should do it. All set now. Thank you. Well then, once again, thank you, Teddy and Paimon. Thank you for everything you've done for me and for Chen Yu Vale. Oh, what a beautiful wrap-up we have here. We've done it. Let's see. Behold the ancient tree returned to life. I think that the Shenyu Vale Trek photo album? 
uh, this is gonna be the Spirit Sense Flower. Hmm. Uh, here are the beauty of the Bishui River from both songs. Yes, we got to do all of that. And then upgrade the Vote of Ranger to the maximum level. We've 100% of the achievements in Chen Yu Vale. After that, the fish sank to the bottom of the lake and the snake was split into several pieces. The remaining beasts waited on the mountains, rivers, and moon, awaiting their silent answer. Lovely. Well, life has definitely been restored to this land. 